Bobcat Bob, and today we're going into the wild Appalachian Hills to try to survive for three minutes. All right, now as you may know, living out in the wild, the most important thing is water. And water's hard to find up here in the mountains. So, what you gotta do is you gotta get unconventional with it. Now, plants, they suck up all the water from the ground. You know what that means? Plants got water in them. Plants got water in them, you eat the plants. All right, let's see if we can find some. No, it's just a, it's just like a, a poison ivy or something. It's a wet tree. That's a good sign. Whoa, what is that? <gasps> this right here is the greatest rarity in all of Appalachia, the Gatorade bush. You see, not only does this plant suck up the water, it sucks up the nutrients like the electrolytes, the magnesium, the good stuff that keeps you moving. Let's see. Mm, it's the blue variant, not the crap like Arctic Blast one. That one's disgusting. Don't eat that one. Good. Now, a little known thing. Animals hate blue things. I don't know why. So you can turn this little fruit thing here into a defensive mechanism. Then the animals run away. Yeah. One. Now, the second most important thing to survival is food. If you ain't got food in you, you ain't moving. If you ain't moving, you die. Simple as that. Bears will eat. Now, Appalachia is home to many delicious edible things, such as wild onions and wild carrots and pretty much anything. Just put wild in front of it. Even wild pop mm. This right here. Harvest is good. Alas, we were beat to it. My guess is a uh, freaking, I mean, I don't know, maybe a feral, feral dog or big old bear, maybe even a bobcat. Sometimes they just live up here. But he beat us to it. It's a shame. All right, after rummaging around for food, found a little bit of sustenance off camera. Oh. We'll talk, we won't get into that. Yeah. But this here. This is the next important part. Shelter. You want a nice comfy bed to lay down in. Now it's summer, so you're not going to be running into too much cold. So you should be fine. This here, this is, I, I don't know. But it can be used to make soft bedding. So I'm just going to do a little auto work here. You, you, how did you do that? 15 minutes. That's all it took. 15 minutes. So you, uh, you see, it's a real simple process. Take the leaf, you lick the stick. <coughs> Two. Hey, I'm Bobcat Bob. Continuing on with this episode, let's learn how to thrive in Appalachia. I taught you to survive, now you're gonna thrive. Now, an old, uh, an old tradition around here is mining. Mining gets a lot of things done. Now, you go mining here with just a big old rock. You'd be surprised what you find. So we get the jackpot. This here, shotgun vein. You see, shotguns grow naturally on rocks. You just gotta mine them out. That's what they were mining for all those years. See that? That's a good combat shotgun right there. It's good stuff. And all it took was a little pickaxe that I made out of a rock I found. Rock and roll. All right. See this? Just a couple hours of licking sticks, stick them together. And you can build yourself an entire neighborhood. Next thing you know, you've turned the Appalachian wild into your renter's paradise. Anyways, I think that'll conclude this week's episode. I'm Bobcat Bob. Go ham or get slammed.